welcome to part 3 of 4 of the EM1010 How-To Series, Cap Embroidery. Today we will learn how to hoop the cap. Now that your cap driver and cap station are securely attached to your machine, you can start hooping your cap. To insert the cap ring, connect the open metal notch to the center tab on the cap station. Grab from the back, slide and push the cap ring forward, making sure all three spring locks are connected. Unfasten the flexible metal band and position it to the left of the cap ring. Place the cap backing off to the side and pull back the sweatband of the cap. Place your backing below the metal tab and slide in the sweatband between the metal tab and the backing. Make sure all extra fabric is out of the way and position the flexible metal band back over the cap spill. The flexible metal band is made up of two edges, a smooth edge closest to the machine and a serrated edge closest to you. Place the smooth edge under the metal tab of the cap station. Connect the clasp to the cap ring latch and snap it into place. To release the cap from the cap station, simply press on the three latches positioned at 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 7 o'clock. Grab the extra fabric near the back of the cap and secure it with the supplied binder clips, making sure the binder clips are facing inward. This is to ensure that the fabric portion that we will be embroidering upon is smooth and secure. If you're using an adjustable snapback cap as we are, you'll want to make sure the snapbacks are positioned outside of the cap. Thank you for watching Part 3, Cap Hooping. In Part 4 of our EM1010 How-To Series, Cap Embroidery, we learn how to insert and remove the cap hoop.